Hi, my name is Katharina and I'm a product owner at Commerzbank for the topic of API strategy and governance. Commerzbank is one of the leading banks in the German market with over 11 million private business and corporate clients. At Commerzbank we started to create our ecosystem with APIs I think from 2017 onwards. So with PSD2 on the horizon, we were thinking about premium APIs right from the start. And by now we have created a portfolio with different internal and external APIs. So our ecosystem is mainly growing with internal consumers and providers, but of course also with our external customers. And by now we have reached the 1 billion calls milestone per month. So this really shows that this ecosystem is continuously growing. So we immediately started thinking about business APIs and not just technical APIs. That was of course sometimes a bit difficult to have these discussions, how we can implement this in the best way. But I think it really helps to focus on the customer needs and on the adding the customer value to make sure that the APIs are really understandable, easy to consume and really bring the most value to our customers. One example would be our securities API that we exposed externally. So Wealthpilot connected to the securities API in order to provide to their customers a holistic um, asset overview. And now, of course, it's super easy for Wealthpilot customers that are also Commerzbank customers to get access to their data and use the Wealthpilot interface to have an aggregated view over all their assets. So it's a very easy way to have um, this data integrated into Wealthpilot. So it's really important to get the business lines on board. So what we did was we had so many workshops and trainings and presentations and informative calls to make sure that really everyone within the whole organization understands the benefits of API. For example, we also implemented an API first strategy, meaning that all interfaces that will be built should be built via API, of course, if possible. And I think what's really, really nice to see is um, especially the efficiency case because we can see that by now we have over, I think about 1,200 1, reuse cases where we can really see we're saving money, we're so much faster. And if we can manage to bring this externally as well, I think that's just a huge benefit. So the first thing we did when we thought about our API journey was, of course, that we need a stable, robust and of course a highly secure management platform. So that's when we got all the experts together and luckily with our help from X-Way, from our partner, we managed to set up what we thought was the right architecture to build all the services on top. And I think that was really like the key to our success is or was to make sure that we really think about all the different components right from the beginning to make sure that we really tackle the challenges that are to come and that we have this stable platform where we can then build on top of it. Well, actually, if we talk about our vision, our internal cluster vision, so from our API area or business connectivity area is we want to add value to our customers' lives. But of course, as it's usual in business, I think it's very fair if you have a very good service and a very good product that it's okay to monetize these services. So I think there's a huge potential for external APIs to be monetized because they are simply easily integratable, everyone can use them and I think yes, there are huge potentials in the market.